let's discuss about the interaction of light with matter in this video whenever radiation is incident on a material it can be viewed as a stream of photon where each photon carries an energy e is equal to h nu and there arises three different possibilities of interaction of light with matter so let's discuss one by one and remember this possibility arises only if we are considering it from the point of view of quantum mechanics because we have the concept of photons here so there are three main process of interaction of uh, interaction that can happen here one is the stimulated absorption then we have the spontaneous emission and the stimulated emission so in stimulated uh, absorption if an atom is in the energy level e1 and if we have a photon h nu which is equal to e2 minus e1 here we are only considering a two energy level system having a lower energy e1 and an upper energy level e2 and we have a photon whose energy is just the difference between the two energy levels if such an uh, photon is incident on the atom it will impart its energy to the atom and disappear so we have here the absorption of energy and the atom jumps to the excited state e2 from e1 so this transition is basically called an absorption transition so schematically if we have we can represent this as we have two energy levels e1 and the upper excited state e2 and we have a photon uh, photon is represented by this wiggly line its energy is given by h nu which will be exactly the difference between the two levels e2 minus e1 if such a photon is incident you can see an atom here it will this atom will absorb the photon and jumps to the upper state so that is represented in this figure in the second figure after absorption the atom from the ground state goes to the upper state so in each absorption event an atom in the medium is excited and one photon will be subtracted from the incident light beam and that is what is known as the attenuation of light in the medium which we discussed in the previous video so let's see the probability that such an absorption transition occur what is it so probability for an absorption transition to occur will be proportional to the photon density which we are denoting it as a rho of nu rho stands for the photon density so p12 is proportional to rho nu or we have introduced the proportionality constant as b12 here so p12 the probability of transition absorption transition B, p12 is equal to b12 times rho of nu here b12 is the einstein coefficient for induced absorption and it indicates the probability of occurrence from the level 1 to 2 okay so that is why we gave the coefficient as b12 indicating this transition is from the lower energy level 1 to the upper energy level 2 now what is the rate of this absorption transition so rate means the number of atoms per unit volume that undergo absorption transition per second with respect to time so you see here as time progresses the lower energy level will be depleted of the atoms that is all the atoms are getting excited to the upper energy level as time progresses so there will be a progressive decrease in the number of atoms in the lower energy level which is n1 okay the number of atoms is given by n1 so there is a progressive decrease which is denoted by minus d n1 by dt that is with respect to time the number of atoms in the lower energy level decreases and where does this appear it goes to the upper level therefore there is a progressive increase in the number of atoms in the energy level e2 which is an increase in n2 so we have plus d n2 by dt as a rate so in either case we can uh, represent the rate of absorption transition as minus d n1 by dt which is the progressive decrease in the number of atoms in the lower level or a progressive increase in number of atoms in the upper level both denote the rate of absorption transition 
and now this absorption transition occurring in the material at any instant is equal to the probability P12 for absorption times the number of atoms in the lower energy level or the initial energy level. So you see that when uh, more photons are incident on the assembly of atom, more atoms can get excited to energy level. So this rate is now equal to the probability of uh, the transition from 1 to 2 times the number of atoms in the lower energy level. So totally B12 into rho nu into N1 will give the rate of this absorption transition. So as a rate of the as a result of this absorption N1 will decrease but N2 will go on increasing but in the previous video we have discussed that under normal condition or normal distribution says the number of atoms in the upper energy level cannot be greater than n1 in the normal sense so n2 is never greater than n1 but this process uh, indicate that as time progresses n1 decreases and n2 goes on increasing